Hey gamers, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the immersive world of The Invincible and giving you an honest review of this futuristic gaming adventure. So, let's jump right in. Venturing into the world of video game adaptations of literary works is like stepping onto a distant, unfamiliar planet. It's a journey fraught with pitfalls and promise, as rich narratives are transplanted into interactive realms, such as the odyssey of The Invincible. Starward Industries' bold foray into reimagining Stanislaw Lem's intricate science fiction landscape. This isn't simply a visual spectacle, it's an intricate dance of weaving narrative threads with human introspection. Against the odds, the endeavor emerges not just unscathed, but as a beacon, heralding the untapped potential in literary to gaming crossovers. What Starward Industries embarked upon wasn't a mere replication of Lem's iconic 1960s narrative, but rather a re-engineering of it. The original tale centered on an imposing spaceship and its crew, laden with technology and a daunting objective. In the game's universe, however, players are thrust into the role of Yasna, a scientist within a small team, setting the stage for a much more intimate exploration of Regis I.I. This twist on the tale offers a parallel narrative, remixed with new faces and perspectives, yet it remains inextricably linked to its literary roots. As Yasna, waking up isolated on a barren alien planet with a fragmented memory, players immediately sense that Regis III's barren facade hides lurking enigmas. Yasna's isolation is palpable, and her quest to locate her missing colleagues is as much a narrative propulsion as it is a survival imperative. This journey is defined by its linear paths, yet it is enlivened by emergent puzzles, each revealing a piece of a larger, unsettling truth that beckons from the planet's desolate embrace. The visual tapestry of the game is a love letter to the retro-futuristic aesthetic of the 50s and 60s, bringing forth a planetary painting where each hue and structure is a deliberate stroke of genius. The attention to detail in the game's design is staggering. Every piece of technology and machinery is a tangible throwback to an era of space race nostalgia. Yasna's suite of vintage tools becomes the player's lifeline, marrying past designs with the digital interface of gameplay in a symphony of old-school cool. Yasna is more than a mere avatar for the player. She is the narrative's soul. Her dialogues, be they the contentious exchanges with her commander or her own self-musings, paint the portrait of a scientist torn between the pursuit of knowledge and the realities of her dire circumstances. These elements coalesce into a gameplay experience that is not so much about walking as it is about inhabiting a person living through an extraordinary ordeal. Yet, no odyssey is without its trials. Navigation across the rocky canvas of Regis III can sometimes devolve into a guessing game of accessible paths, with the game mechanics occasionally disrupting the immersion. Subtlety in environmental cues could have woven a more seamless fabric of exploration rather than rely on less nuanced indicators of direction. The Invincible also grapples with threading the philosophical inquiries of Lem's work into the game's fabric. The narrative probes the essence of human progress, the arrogance of scientific conquest, and our raw confrontation with the unknown. While the game doesn't shy away from these thematic behemoths, its delivery sometimes lacks the subtlety of Lem's original prose, opting for a more explicit exposition that, while well-intentioned, sometimes diminishes the narrative's enigmatic allure. While Starward Industries' translation from novel to game isn't without its flaws, their efforts brush up against greatness. The Invincible stands as a testament to the possibilities of cross-media adaptations, a demonstration of the rich, interactive experiences that can spring from the pages of a novel. It is, in its essence, a call to embrace the intricate dance of adapting literature into the living, breathing world of video games. And if this pioneering work can spur a trend of more novelistic worlds brought to life through gaming, the horizon is indeed bright. Thanks for watching our review of The Invincible. 
Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more gaming content and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with the latest releases. Until next time, happy gaming.